Today I wanted to share a yoga practice with you that is very near and dear uh, to my heart and that is a style of yoga called restorative yoga. So restorative yoga is a style that is a lot more gentle than say a vinyasa practice or an ashtanga style of yoga. Restorative yoga uses props such as blankets, towels, bolsters, straps to help you feel fully supported in the poses that we will go into. And we typically will hold these poses for about five to seven minutes. And we add in that three-part breath that we learned about just a few days ago. If you haven't learned the three-part breath and you're not interested in that, it's completely fine. Don't worry about it, no stress here. Restorative yoga is the style of yoga that works to bring some calm and restore the parasympathetic nervous system. So that's the part of the nervous system that is the rest and digest, the calming down of everything, letting your heart rate come back to a more rested heart rate, um, letting your blood pressure relax, letting your muscles, the tension, just kind of melt into the props, into the supportive um, flooring that you have, whether that's in your bed or on a mat. Uh, on the sofa, however you wanna do this practice today. So with our first restorative practice together, I wanted to keep this to about 15 to 20 minutes. So we'll only be doing a few poses, maybe two or three poses. Um, and we are gonna work specifically in the hips and the chest. So the hips mainly in the psoas muscle, which won't get into it too much today, but the psoas is often called the muscle of the soul. It starts um, in the back, around the lumbar spine, around the top of the lumbar spine, basically, and wraps around the front part of the hips and then attaches to the upper part of the femur bone. So it attaches the back side of the body to the front, the upper body to the lower body, and there are a lot of energy centers that the psoas muscle affects, such as the solar plexus, that personal power, the second chakra, our sacral chakra, which is creativity and manifestation or fertility of ideas, and then our root chakra, which is that center of safety and belonging and home and security. And with our seated posture that we do throughout our day, uh, the psoas muscle tends to tighten and we don't often get the opportunity to release and lengthen. And so all of that stress and all of that tension and all of that energy kind of gets built up in those areas and it's not able to flow as freely. So today we're gonna combine our restorative practice with opening up through the psoas muscle and then ending through a little bit of shoulder and heart chakra opening as well. So go ahead and grab a towel or a blanket. We're going to make a blanket roll or a towel roll. And basically that just means rolling it up um, to where it's long ways. So just like this. Now, the bigger the roll, the more intense the feeling is going to be. So if it's a little too intense once we get into it, just simply unroll this a little bit or just grab a smaller towel. Um, but restorative yoga is not about discomfort. So it's not about pushing your edge. It's not about getting out of your comfort zone. It's about feeling completely comfortable and completely supported. So if you wanna grab a pillow for underneath your head or some extra blankets for underneath your arms, whatever's gonna help you feel completely supported in this pose, then that's the pose for you. That's the support for you. So to begin, let's just go ahead and lay down on our backs. And then we're gonna place this blanket roll under our sacrum. So just lifting the hips, placing the blanket roll not really on the low back, so we definitely don't want to have an arch in our spine, but at that supported part of our tailbone. So we're just gonna hold this for a few breaths before we go any deeper here. So now is the time to check in with your breath. And if that three-part breath is part of your practice, 
want to incorporate into this restorative pose, this restorative practice today. Then go ahead and settle into that three-part breath. As a reminder, as we're breathing deep into the belly and then the rib cage and then the upper chest. And then exhaling through the chest and the rib cage and the belly. Your hands can be down by your side, on your belly, one hand on your belly, one hand on your chest, whatever feels comfortable for you. And we're gonna hold this in some silence for just a few minutes. You can bring your knees together if that feels more supportive for you as well. slowly we're just going to extend your right leg out just to the point that you can extend it without your back arching without any discomfort in your hip flexors so that might just be partially extended that may be all the way extended just finding that point where you can completely relax and breathe still in this pose. And in restorative yoga, it may not feel like anything is happening or any work is being done, but the work is very much internal. So just making sure that you're not feeling too much discomfort in the physical body that the emotional, the energetic, the more subtle body can do the work.
out long on your mat or in your space, just to the point that there's not any discomfort. You're just holding that position. A nice steady breath. Making any adjustments as needed. Gone too far into this pose, you can always drag the foot up just a little bit, just finding what works best for you. blanket roll and just gentle rock side to side. Now that we've extended both sides individually, we're going to extend at the same time. So let's take the right leg out and then the left. So both legs are extended. Now you may need to make some adjustments here. Just making sure that you aren't past your comfort zone. So making sure that you're not having to arch your back, keeping everything through the pelvis nice and relaxed. And just elongating the legs to the point that there isn't any discomfort in the low back or in the pelvis. That may be all the way, that may be partial, Heart breath or just a simple inhale and exhale through the nose.
Bring your soles of your feet down so that you can gently just press enough through the feet so that your hips lift just enough to slide that blanket roll out from underneath you and then gently settle your hips back down. We're gonna roll over to one side, take a few breaths here. And slowly pressing yourself up, still keeping your eyes soft, just transitioning slowly into our next position. We're gonna use that same blanket roll. And let it be long on our mat. So we're gonna lay our spine long on our blanket roll. How this will work is depending on the length of your blanket roll, You'll start by just sitting barely at the edge of your blanket roll and then slowly lowering all the way down, keeping your knees bent to start and just making little adjustments so that your spine is long on your blanket roll. Now, if your blanket is long enough where your head can relax down, that's fine. If your head is on the floor and your torso is slightly elevated, it's also going to help open up through the throat chakra as well as the heart. So from here, allow your arms to be long beside you. And you can keep your knees bent with your knees coming towards each other, or if it feels okay on your pelvis and on your back, you can extend your legs long, but just to the point that you don't arch your spine. We want the entire spine long on the towel or blanket roll. Letting the chest relax, the shoulders melt back and down. And then holding whichever position you found yourself in for a few breaths making some more adjustments and holding that for a few breaths and settling right back into that three part breath.
tying your feet back in towards your hips if they're not there already. And just gently rolling off to one side, just rolling off your blanket roll over to one side, holding here for a few breaths. Using your top hand to very gently and mindfully press yourself up. We're going to meet in a seated position, keeping your eyes nice and soft, whether they're closed or just gently looking down. Your hands can be on your knees or on your thighs or in your lap. Let the tall set up. Your spine set up nice and tall. And take a few moments to just return to your natural, normal breath. Letting your tongue relax away from the roof of your mouth. Letting that space just between your eyes center and gratitude for our breath and gratitude for the ability to just tap in to our breath and gratitude of learning all the different ways that we can restore peace and calm and equanimity into our lives I bow my head in gratitude to each and every one of you.